छिटो घर घर पढ़ु पर्यो Motorola debuts in Nepal. Total wins YYC Stars Kathmandu 2017. Goat Venture game released. Oppo F5 to launch in Nepal. Hamro TV launches 4K Ultra HD channels in Nepal. Cyber Heist hits NIC Asia banks. Hi, I am Ashmita and we are back with 26th episode of Tech Khabar, the weekly Tech Lake news report. With new and exciting news, let's get to it. Motorola has finally decided to make its first step in the Nepali market by introducing four budget-oriented mobile phones: Moto C, Moto C Plus, Moto E4, and Moto E Plus. The E4 Plus looks set to be the best value for money option. Out of these, with a quad-core 1.3 GHz Cortex A53 processor and a 5,000 mAh battery, all of the phones come equipped with a stock Android OS. However, they will not receive the new Android Oreo update. With the introduction of the new company and these mobile phones, the Nepali market of budget smartphones is more competitive than ever. Total, a ride-sharing startup, has won the YY Seat Stars Kathmandu competition. The competition was jointly organized by Microsoft Innovation Center Nepal and UNDP. Out of 61 participants, eight finalists were chosen to present their business ideas during the national finale of the competition, which was held on October 23rd. Total claimed the victory as well as an opportunity to represent the country at the Global Seed Star Summit in Switzerland. It will be competing with more than 65 nations to win up to 1 million US dollars in equity investments. Shortcode Games have introduced an all-new obstacle-based game called Goat Venture on 18th of October. Shortcode Game is known for developing games based on Nepali culture and historical background, and its latest offering carries on this trend. Goat Venture is based on the Dasai festival of Nepal and explores the goat sacrificing aspect of the festival. This game is currently available only on the Android platform. However, the developers have ensured us that the iOS version of this game will be available soon. Find deals on tech products. Make sure you visit deals.techlich.com to grab the latest deals. Telnet Private Limited, the official distributor of Oppo mobile phones, have decided to launch the new Oppo 5 in Nepal by mid of November. The specs of the phone include a quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 chipset, 6GB RAM, a 4000 mAh battery, and a huge 6-inch bezel-less display with a resolution of 1080 by 2048 pixels. As far as the camera are concerned, it has a 20 megapixel primary rear camera and a dual 16 megapixel front camera that integrates artificial intelligence for capturing better selfies. This mobile phone is expected to cost around 45,000 to 50,000 Nepalese currency. Hamra TV, a TV and internet service provider, has been collaborating with different ISPs and television service providers to provide the Ultra HD channels with 4K resolution for the first time in Nepal. The services started from October 16, 2017 and was officially inaugurated by Vice President Mr. Nanda Bahadur Poon. Currently, Hamra TV is offering 170 HD channels, 50 HD channels and 3 Ultra HD 4K channels. It is also providing free of cost installation and 50% discount in all of its services. To learn more about this news, please visit our site takelake.com. A group of unidentified cyber criminals have hacked into the SWIFT systems of NIC Asia Bank SWIFT systems. Nepal Rashtra Bank has confirmed that this theft took place during Tihar vacation when all the operation of the banks was closed. NRB Deputy Spokesperson Rajendra Pandit has allayed the concern of the public confirming that this crime will not affect the deposits of the account holders. This has been marked as one of the biggest cyber crimes in the history of banking in Nepal. With this, we have come to an end of today's episode. For more details, please check our site techlick.com. Also, the links to all our social media are given in the description box below. Please make sure to follow them. Thank you.